WCCF Tech is reporting that the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D, or I'm sorry, 5800XT, is hitting almost 5 gigahertz in 65 watt eco mode with just a low end cooler. This is insane. It's not even hitting the default 105 watt TDP. Okay, the Ryzen 5000 XT CPUs do not require a high end, high end cooling solution to break their clock limits. Ryzen 7 5800 XT boosts to 5 gigahertz with 65 watt eco mode. Uh, let's see, AMD has been doing such refreshes uh, to uh, their Zen uh, 3 lineup and the AM uh, port platform. And uh, previously, it's mostly a small refresh of the existing chips to attain higher performance. But it looks like the 5000 XT CPUs can achieve more than what AMD advertised. As the processors have already hit the shelves, we have a sneak peek in what these SKUs are capable of before the reviews are published. Popular hardware leaker Zed Wang has tested his AMD Ryzen 7 5800 XT and found that it can go beyond its boost clock of 4.8 GHz. As visible here in Hardware Info, the 5800 XT can reach a good 4,941 MHz at 1.387 volts. What's surprising is the 5800 XT's ability to reach this frequency at just 89 watts, which is much lower than its TDP rating while the average power consumption remains at less than 70 watts. That's insane. Megasize uh, GPU says that he was running the 5800 XT in 65 watt eco mode using the Noctua L25S low profile CPU cooler, which can hardly keep up with the premium cooling solutions. However, the temperature does reach 80 degrees C, which is an indication that uh, it would be better to use a higher end air cooler for or an AIO. <coughs> <coughs> For, you know, maintaining lower thermals. Sorry about the old throat problem. In another hardware info window, you can see that the user has set the ratio at 49.50. Right there. Man. And he's using an ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming ITX AX motherboard, which is... Although a solid ITX motherboard for overclocking, it's still not on the high end uh, level of uh, high end uh, B550 motherboards uh, in the ATX form factor. But nonetheless, this is insane. I'd like to see what this uh, this would do with uh, like a, a decent uh, twin tower cooler, like a, a Dark Rock Pro, uh, Peerless Assassin, um, because this is this is. This is a damn good overclock right here. Well, and actually, it's not, it's not even really an overclock. He's basically, it's an undervolt and an underclock to an extent. 65 watt eco mode. And, he's, and he pushed it to almost 5 gig. Man. <laughs> That's killer. I like that. And if you do, ring the bell and subscribe. To Gonzo Media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.